my dad was a professor, happened to be a professor of computer science. And, you know, we had computers sort of lying around the house from a really early age. Like, I think I was the first kid in my elementary school to turn in a word processed document. So, um, and I just enjoyed using the stuff. So it was sort of lying around and got to play with it. And I had an older brother who was interested in it as well. So I think I had kind of a unique environment that most people didn't have, because, you know, my dad was willing to spend, you know, all his available income on buying a computer or whatever. Really, it was like 1978 when I was six. And so I, I don't think there's many people my age who've had that experience, or anyone in general. And from very early age, also, I realized I wanted to invent things. And so I became really interested in technology, and also then soon after in business, because I figured that inventing things wasn't any good. You really had to get them out into the world and have people use them right, to have any effect. So probably from when I was 12, I knew I was going to start a company eventually. I just sort of kept having ideas. I mean, there's a lot of, we had a lot of magazines lying around our house. It was kind of messy. So you kind of read stuff all the time. And, you know, I'd read like Popular Science or, I don't know, things like that. And I just got interested in, in stuff, I guess, and, and um, technology and how um, devices work. And I, my brother taught me how to take things apart, and I took apart everything in the house. And so I just became interested in it for whatever reason. And so I had lots of ideas about, you know, what, um, what things could be built and you know, how to build them and all these kinds of things. I built like an electric go-kart um, at a pretty early age. I read all the computer magazines and things like that, and I was sort of interested in, you know, how these things really work and um, anything having to do with you know, the, the mechanics behind things, you know, the, either the mechanics or the electronics or, you know, I wanted to be able to build things. Um, actually, in college, I built an inkjet printer out of Legos because I wanted to be able to print really big images. I figured, you know, you could print really big posters really cheaply using inkjet cartridges. So I reverse engineered the cartridge and I built all the electronics and mechanics to drive it. And just sort of, I mean, just sort of fun projects. You know, I like to be able to do those kinds of things. We didn't start out to do a search engine at all. Um, in late 1995, I started collecting the links on the web because um, my advisor and I decided that would be a good thing to do. Um, and we didn't know exactly what I was going to do with it. Um, but it seemed like no one was really looking at the links on the web, you know, which pages link to which pages. And computer scientists love big graphs. And this is like, you know, right now it has like 5 billion edges and, you know, 2 billion nodes. So it's a, it's a huge graph. And I figured I could get a dissertation and do something fun and perhaps practical at the same time, which is really what motivates me. Well, I think the age is a real issue. I mean, it's, uh, it's certainly a handicap in the sense of being able to manage people and to hire people and all these kinds of things, maybe you know, more so than it should be. Uh, and certainly, I think, I mean, the things that you know, I'm missing are you know, more uh, things that you acquire with time. Like you know, if you manage people for 20 years or something like that, you, know, you pick up things. Um, so certainly lack of experience there. And, that's an issue. But I sort of make up for that, I think, in terms of uh, understanding where things are going to go, having vision about the future, and really understanding you know, the industry I'm in and what the company does. And also sort of the unique position of starting a company um, and working on it for three years before starting the company. Um, and working on it pretty hard, so you know, the, the whatever, 24 hours a day. And so I understand a lot of the aspects pretty well. Um, so it's kind of a, you know, I guess that provides, that compensates a little bit for lack of skills in other areas. Well, I mean, I think Google is, is great because it's, 
it's basically artif you know, artificial intelligence would be the ultimate version of Google. So if we had the ultimate search engine, it would understand everything on the web. It would understand um, you know, exactly what you wanted, and it would give you the right thing. And that's obviously artificial intelligence. You know, it would be able to answer any question, basically, because almost everything is on the web, right? And so we're nowhere near doing that now. Um, however, we can get incrementally closer to that, and that's basically what we work on. And that's tremendously interesting from an intellectual standpoint. I was really interested in computers uh, ever since I got one when I was in elementary school. And uh, eventually I went on to to join the PhD program in computer science at Stanford. Uh, and it was purely, you know, the interest of what can you do with all the world's information now that it's online. Um, that interest spawned Google, and that was together with Larry Page, who's my co-founder and partner. I think as a kid, I, was, I always had a kind of scientific curiosity. Um, I was always interested in mathematics, and I was you know, I always enjoyed myself doing math problems. And in fact, my undergrad, I had a, a degree in both math and computer science. Uh, and I think eventually I was uh, really inspired by computers because of the amazing power that they they give you. I mean, today's PCs do a billion operations per second. I mean, it's almost inconceivable. Um, and I think that was the most inspiring thing to me, how you could leverage that to actually produce something that was, you know, that was useful uh, beyond video games and things like that. At Google, our mission is to make the world's information accessible and useful, and that means all of the world's information, uh, which now in our index numbers over a billion documents. And it's an incredible resource. I mean, in history, you have never had access to just you know, pretty much all the world's information in seconds. And we have that now. And to make it really useful, you have to have a good way of finding whatever it is that you want. And that, that's precisely what we work on at Google. And my, my hope is to provide instant access uh, to any information anybody ever wants uh, in the future. I was fortunate to be at Stanford, and uh, I was really interested in data mining, which means analyzing large amounts of data, discovering patterns and trends. And at the same time, Larry joined uh, Stanford in 95, and he started downloading the web, which is, you know, turns out to be the most interesting data you can possibly mine. And our joint effort, uh, just looking at the data out of, out of curiosity, uh, we found that we had technology to do a better job of search. Um, and from that initial technology, we got really interested in the problem, and we realized how impactful having great search can be. And so we built technology upon technology after that uh, to bring Google to where it is today, and we continue to develop lots of technology for tomorrow.